today I head up my local Dollar Tree to check out their baby section. I haven't been to the old, the, the ye old Dollar Tree since I had a baby, and I have no idea what kind of baby stuff they have. But I found some quality stuff, you guys. Oh, did I? I'm about to take my baby on a trip, his first flight in a few weeks. And so I bought a couple things that will be great for my trip, starting with travel size, the diaper bag sized baby wipes. There's 32 in this pack. These are fragrance free huggies. Diaper disposal bags. When you change your daily, the baby's diaper. You gotta throw it away, and sometimes you're not always near garbage, so you want a bag. Disposable baby bibs, perfect again for traveling. Uh, this one has the pocket with the, the built-in crumb catcher. Uh, Max is not on solids yet. He'll be six months soon, and we'll start solids when he turns six months. But these will be good to have to take with me, so I don't have to bring my nice uh, food bibs. I was super excited to find these little snack cups, okay? My friends with toddlers have these. It's the kind that like nothing can spill out of, but they can stick their hands in and get Cheerios or pretzels or whatnot out of. These, there are brands like Munchkin that sell these for probably, I don't know, five bucks, something like that. These were a dollar each. Ooh, ooh, I got excited about this. All right, so this is a bottle brush to wash your bottles. I was just thinking, am I gonna have to pack my super bottle brush to, to go on a trip with my baby so that I can wash the bottles because you can't get a regular sponge in there? No, I can just take this, although it is kind of gigantic, and then I can toss it when I'm done. So this, this just became my disposable bottle brush. Here's some more fun snack cups for your toddler. Training pads for your puppy. Why are these good for a baby? Because it's basically a um, diaper changing pad that you can throw away. So let's say your baby has a blowout at the airport and you don't want to get any poop on your normal changing pad because you got to put it back in your bag. That's what the disposable ones are before. Or sometimes the diaper changing tables and bathrooms are so disgusting that you want to just throw away your diaper changing pad when you're done. That's what these are for. We have Flexware spoon and fork. I don't know if this is going to be any good because uh, we aren't eating yet, but it's uh, BPA free. Look at these cute little books. Fisher Price, opposites, cookie shapes. Look at you can learn what a triangle is and what a square is. Outlet plugs. Now, I hear these are now considered choking hazards. I don't know. Um, maybe, but they're a dollar. So, <laughs> how can I resist choking my child for just a dollar? I'm not joking about ch children choking. It's a serious matter, but uh, I don't know. If you're still using these kind of outlet plugs, they were a dollar. Oh, 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 child hangers. These aren't exactly baby size. These are a little bit bigger, but I think your baby clothes, once your baby's a little bigger, will fit on these. These were a dollar. Obvi. Everything's a dollar. Teether. My baby's starting to love to put everything in his mouth, so this will be fun. I think this might be the kind. Yeah, you can refrigerate this. Ooh, my pizza cutter. All right, so that's not for the baby. That's because I made pizza the other day and realized I didn't have a pizza cutter. So there it is, you guys. That is a gigantic baby haul. My total was 21 something and I threw in a couple other things for myself like the pizza cutter. Quite a steal I say and I'm actually going to use probably 90% of what I bought. I didn't just buy it for this video. I'm, I'm actually going to use this stuff so win win. Subscribe. I post videos every week and um, share with your friends and I will see you guys next week. Bye.